guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of Runner Girlfriends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> of course. It would be the opposite of if I were here. Kazu, really? Stares at her like that. What the fuck? Oh my god, hold on. I'm gonna wait until the opening. <laughs> I wouldn't. This bit. Like, oh my god, but Kazu, number one, <sighs> mommy was your first girlfriend. You can't immediately be like, oh my god, like, yes, I can see us. Like, she's the one, she's everything. Are you fucking kidding me? No, that don't exist. Like, oh my god, what is wrong with you? I can't, and I cannot believe I'm getting fucking pissed about this. Like, yeah, I'm. I'm sorry. That that don't come on. Be a little realistic now. I mean, mm. can you tolerate some of the ish that she does on a daily basis? Like, come on now. I mean, let's think about that first. Are you okay with all that stuff? Do you love those little things about her? Do you hate some things about her? Like, what do you like? What do you dislike? I mean, we're not even counting high school things. We count shit as an adult mother ever. Like, I can't. I need alcohol. This man gonna make me go into alcoholism. Like, yeah, I'm still mad at mommy, but I'm 
Oh my fucking god. Really? <laughs> that was literally me last night trying to get Dreamfest Yukina a Dreamfest Akko. Like, mm. But I'm going to try again in a couple, in like, what? Two days from now? Either the second or third? Yeah, me too. Say no. Say no. God, you are such an asshole, and I literally cannot stand you. And you deserve that punch. Because it's an ass. <laughs> Say it again for the people in the back. Like, yes. <laughs> No, no, no. Let them keep going. He need to get his ass whooped. Yeah, you shouldn't have guessed him. Mm -hmm. That's so unfair. Bull fucking shit. Oh my god.
Yeah, I mean, you still got your ass kicked no matter what, but he deserved that, though. At times. Still a dick, though. I wouldn't be surprised.
Damn, you still got a big nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, he's not. He he just really makes stupid, idiotic decisions. He still might kick your ass, though, but who knows? Did he sick? I am. Mm -hmm. But he's doing a lot of, like, come on now. If you know that you can't do this, you can just go home and get some sleep. Please. It would be mommy.
she's going to go overboard. Better throw up. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh fuck you, Bowen. That's how we end in this episode, huh? Are you? <laughs> oh my god! That is the most caring thing that he just said for her. God, I can't. Like, stop. My heart. Um. Kazu, he's still a, a dick in my book. But I get it. You just want to get back with mommy? I understand. That's fine. I don't get the anymore, but I mean, you can't deny the chemistry that you have with me, Zohara, like, mmm. But, I mean, seriously, who out of all those people? It was him who went to go dive in the water and get her, so come on now. Like, hmm. That's the best material right there, like, ooh, I'm just saying, and that's how a boyfriend, not really her boyfriend, but that's how a guy should do, especially if you're going on a date with him. I don't even know what else to say about this episode. Honestly, it went a little too fast for me. Because <laughs> it was like, one minute we're at the beginning, next minute we're at the middle, and now we're at the end. I hope she's okay. I kind of wish they didn't go on this boat ride that he just drove her home, but we wouldn't have gotten a moment like this and he would have spent the night with Nami and such like that. I don't know why, but I'm kind of starting to warm up to Nami. I sympathize with her. I feel like I kind of pity her too. Honestly, I don't think anybody wants to see Kazu, dude, because, I mean, here's the thing. Out of, what, there's, like, two other girls who are watching this show doing reactions besides me. I don't know how most of the girls, like, anime girls, not anime girls, like, any girl, any other girl who are fans of this show, or just anime in general, especially watching this show, how they feel about Kazu, because I feel like there, there's so many people, like, everybody currently hates Mommy for, for, for now, but I feel like there's gonna be a point where we're not gonna hate Mommy, I don't know why, and that's why I feel like, I, I'm like, flip-flopping with her, because sometimes, there are some times where I like her, and then there are some times, like, I can't stand Mommy, but Kazu, I feel like, Everybody hates Kazu, and I mean, I'm, I'm shit talking him because I can't stand his ass somewhat. I know the guys are because <laughs> most of the reactors who I'm friends with are taught to. Um, they can't stand him either, but the other two girls who are in mashups with me, I don't personally know how they feel about him, but like, like I said, I can't stand him, and so I'm kind of thinking that most. <laughs> Uh, female weebs also really don't give a shit about Kazu either. I mean, honestly, I would love to know perspective about how, like, some of these girls do feel about him because, I mean, he, some of the things that he does, like, I could agree with, but then some of them, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? You dumbass. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, uh. I mean, God, if it was me coming just that, well, because see, the way guys go into relationship and like girls go into relationship are completely different. So, like, me as a girl, if I break up with, like, my boyfriend, after that, like, I I'm on myself. I'm focusing on me. I ain't focusing on whoever the fuck is coming near me and like that. That's just me. And if I want to work with you, I'll go ahead, but that's it. But, like, mm, that's still me at the end of the fucking day because I'd rather still be on myself until I think I'm ready to be like, yeah, I mean, this dude technically 
broke up with mommy like episode one ish and then immediately goes on a freaking date with a rent a girlfriend do we kind of really count that as a relationship not really but yeah but then it kind of says that he's kind of a man ho because he is hopping over too many girls i mean at the same time goddamn so i mean do i have a problem with that kind of because i don't like that i mean because you know when we get called on it we're, we're called like a whore and a slut but like guys don't get caught on that ish and it's like come on now like let him get caught out on that ish i'm just saying that's just me just me but it was still a good episode i'm glad that he ended up diving for her and that just you know strengthens their little bond friendship esque at the moment but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode four of Renner Girlfriend if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially on next Friday hopefully because of the stupid storm coming this weekend for episode five bye guys